think in Alaska, they're really just mostly focusing on the state races. Um, they're not even looking at the Senate and the House of Representatives that much. I think they're looking at the state Senate and the state house and things like that. Um, and, and I think they've got a really good shot at taking over the Democratic Party from within because there's so many progressive Democrats in Alaska. But ultimately, this, the National Democratic Party is very big and powerful, and I don't think that the tail is going to have much chance at wagging the dog. Um, so I think some of them, it, it's kind of a, a reality some people don't want to see yet, I think, but... Um, you know, that may come in time, but I, I, I do like the way that the different factors in Alaska are working together. Um, there does seem to be a lot of um, overlap and a lot of cooperation with, you know, different approaches that people have. And, um, and I think it's probably a good way to do it, to have it coming from a bunch of different directions. It's going to be harder for the establishment to shut it down. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's just different ways that our progressive movements can be successful. Yeah, and, and that's one that – that's one I want to bring the conversation back to the coalitions because they kind of tie into that. And so one of the things about the coalition is I myself I, – I know I, I myself can endorse candidates, but I can't do it as the um, Alaska Green Party unless they're independent. I can endorse independents if they endorse Jill, uh, Jill Stein. That's the rules for the Green Party here. But, however, we're part of, we're, we're, we're just one member of a larger coalition of, of uh, progressives. And those progressives can endorse anybody they want. And so we're going to work on making sure they're, they're working closely with the local Green Party. And they will be able to, um, they'll be able to kind of tell us which can, which cans we should be supporting and work with Greens if the Greens want to try to support some of the down ticket candidates. I personally want to support two. Those are the I have two I really like. Um, that thing I can actually do something for. But we're working on building. We're working with several groups. Some of them aren't even associated with Greens at all. And over uh, endorsing good candidates. But the other thing we have to worry about too is that there's a lot of people right now in Alaska that realized that 82% of the people were uh, were for Bernie. And so because of that. They are um, they're calling themselves Bernie Kratz, but they're not. They're trying to they're trying to be sheep's and wolf or they're yeah, trying to be a wolf in sheep clothing. So that's one thing we have to worry about up here. Yeah, I have noticed that phenomenon coming on. I think there are some people that they they want to jump onto that Bernie bandwagon, even though they haven't been a part of the movement. They're just trying to you know they'll use some Bernie language or something um, to try to get the votes but you know we don't we don't know that their policies are really what we're looking for yeah and we've been trying to identify those who are we don't think are going to um be much used or we don't think who are actually part of the movement so we've been we've been right. kind of working with you know for, the former state coordinator um people like that and try, trying to develop a list of candidates who the Green Party cannot endorse, but you know they're going to they're going to be they can be approved by the coalition. So if the coalition approves them. They're probably they're probably a safe bet. These are you know yeah. this group of the most progressive people we can find in the state. Yeah. And I've been um, trying to hand select the people that are actually involved because you know you got to be worried about people trying to mess with the process. But the uh, the hopes the hopes is that after this campaign, everybody that's involved with the campaign on some level, like you, Steve, you're a, a regional coordinator. The, the hope is that the Green Party, who, the Green Party committee right now, who's the only who are the only members of the Green Party uh, of the official Green Party, will kind of develop a Green Party across the state. Will develop ideas on how it's going to run, and they will put that plan to action after the election process. And people that are in a position like you, regional coordinator. Will be able to then apply for um, chair of Sutton or chair of um, Matt Nuska Valley, just depending on how you want how they decide to divide everything up. So that's part of the plan: is that 
we're going to kind of roll the campaign into the Green Party once past it. it's past November. But yeah, and on your on your point about her getting fifteen percent, if she can get to fifteen percent, I think that we would we'd actually stand a pretty good shot of winning the presidency. Yeah. Because she's so much smarter than I would say either of the two major candidates. <laughs> like, I mean, it's not even comparable. <laughs> yeah, I, Hillary Clinton is a smart person, but she just is clueless as far as what most of the American people's experiences are. She's been living in a bubble for about 30 years. And um, so, you know, it's not that she's not smart. She just, you know, makes a lot of bad choices. <laughs> but Jill does have a handle on things. She, um, you know, she's very smart as well. And, and she does talk to the people and she does, you know, kind of see what's going on. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think Jill would be, uh, you know, she's been, Trying to get into those debates for a very long time. She's ready for it. I think she, uh, I think she would do very, very well. And she's got so much more to offer on her platform than anybody else does. Yeah, I usually I just try looking at what would happen. I think if she went against either of the two candidates, you're right. Hillary's definitely the smarter of the two, but, but I don't think that comparing yourself to Trump isn't much of a comparison as far as intelligence goes. Yeah, she's very <laughs> average. <laughs> yeah, she, she, he's not very, he's not very smart. Um, but I think that. Her, if she went against Hillary, Hillary would have to deal with a real person. Smith's can have real ideas, just like when she went against Bernie. You know, it's very, it's very hard yes. to, 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 uh, to compete with that. And then she, and then going against Trump, I don't think it's even a competition. She would just, um, yeah, she just would be able to outsmart she would him. Eviscerate him, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be much. <laughs> there wouldn't be any competition there. You'd have to compete with Hillary a little bit, but you would have ideas that people actually enjoy. And so I think, yeah. I think that would uh, help. I think that would help her out. Yeah, I think you know um, Trump tries to get away from the issues because he, he just does his little branding things, and it works very well on people like Hillary. Um, mm -hmm. And then Hillary, she tries to avoid the issues because her stance on the issues is generally not that good. Um, but Jill can do kind of like Bernie did and just can't keep bringing things back to the issues. She's very good at it. Um, and and she, her issues are strong. So I think she'd be very um, powerful in a debate. I'm not sure how Johnson would do. I um, he, he also might have a shot at getting into the debates. He's been polling at like 12, 13% last I heard. Yeah, he's doing um, really good. So he's, he's got a pretty good chance. Um, and I, I haven't heard him debate, but I, in general, um, libertarian economic policies don't really work very well in real life, but they do um, they do answer to a lot of the right wing propaganda. So, um, and then they they tend to have some um, progressive things, uh, you know, like they want to legalize marijuana and you know some of the freedom kind of things they, they they're pretty good on that stuff and, you know social issues but um the, the economic issues tend to be pretty poor yeah 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 they uh yeah you're right they, they don't really tend to work in real life that's actually that's actually the party i belonged to before i became uh, green and the reason i became green was because i realized that libertarianism didn't actually work yeah <laughs> i was like oh that's because i you know i got older traveled the world a little bit i was just didn't work. They never worked anywhere in human history. It's never worked yeah, out. And, and, yeah, it's stuff that's never ever happened in civilization, and <laughs> it's it's all like theory. And so, but it, it meets the narrative that they want to say. Um, you know, they want to say, "Oh yeah, I got to cut the taxes, and uh, I shouldn't have to pay any taxes." <laughs> Um, and, and then it's like, well, how are you going to pay for things? Well, it should all be voluntary. <laughs> we'll make, well, we'll give money to charities and that'll take care of everything. <laughs> you know, they just, it doesn't, it doesn't work. And, um, in real life, what happens is before anything gets implemented, there's usually some people around who are smart enough to say, uh, no, this is never going <laughs> to happen. So they never have to defend having implemented things and see it fail because it's uh usually it's stopped before it ever gets implemented yeah yeah the i, I would say i don't I actually really don't know if, if he would be a good uh bet he might be better than the two candidates gary johnson i would say if it, 
it was those three, but that's because you don't do cancer just bad. It's real bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of the things that's very valuable about Johnson and the Libertarian Party, though, is that they pull a lot of votes away from Trump. It's true. And they also pull votes away from Hillary Clinton. So it actually makes it a lot easier for Jill Stein to be able to win. Yeah. She doesn't have to get as many votes to be able to win. Um, you know, it's an easier threshold to um, get enough to win a state that way. Yeah, you're right. It, it does it does help her in that way. I, and I really am hoping Jill Stein wins. That's part of the reason we're separating the campaign, uh, Jill Stein's campaign in the state from the Green Party. Uh, there's the there's the issue with down ticket candidates, which we're only supporting. We're not we're not officially supporting them, although we might in the future. And if we do, it's probably going to make national news. But we'll see. Uh, they're deciding that na they're deciding that national right now. If we'll support anybody, but um, but yeah. So, and the other thing is, we got to give Jill Stein the best shot. And if we we don't really want to be tied down by anything, we really just want to go all in. You know, whatever whatever it takes yeah. to get her elected. That's what we want to do. And so, but we also, we, I am interested in green, green needs. I was actually part of the greens. I was before I became a state coordinator. Like I, I didn't, uh, I was, I was trying to get everything started here before I got picked up for that. I think that's part of the reason I got picked up for it actually. Cause I, it turns out I was working with the guy that, that was running the, uh, the national coordinator uh, for starting the state. Um, so I think I got the meet and greet back up and running. It should be running anyways. But I don't think it's going to work too well, unfortunately. Can you hear me any better on this? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you fine. I'm hooked in, and I'm wired into the computer now. So. I'm thinking what we might do is I might shut this down and try to um, have some have some calls with the uh, green committee and redo it and just try doing it again tomorrow. Oh, actually Aspen's on it right now. She's saying it's working much better. Um, so it looks like, it's, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay. So now I got Aspen on there. She's Aspen is one is our most resident uh, and active green we have right now. <laughs> Sorry. Let me get my computer set up. It's fine. So it looks like it looks like we have this up and running, which it's running. It looks like yeah, it's running pretty well. This is much better than the than the on air one. This one should be on air, right? Yeah, I mean, there's like there's like a hangout, and then there's on air, which I don't really know the difference, <laughs> but um, this one's working a lot better because the other one was just a lot of feedback. Yeah, there was. I, I eventually shut it down because it wasn't. Nobody could hear me anyways. It was just screeching. Yeah. Yeah, this one's working a lot better though. I'm sorry. I'm just texting with Abby right now to let her know that this is working. Yeah, and you know, every time we do one of these things, we're gonna learn a bit more about how to uh, set these online programs. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> um, I, I think the big thing I made this work is I just uh, said it. I just closed everything out and reopened it. It seemed to work out pretty well. Although I actually don't have control over this Skype call. I can't invite anybody into it. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> yeah, Skype is a lot more kind of, my only experience with Skype is just kind of one-on-one, -on -one, so I have never used it for groups. So, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure Steven it out. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Stephen and, and uh, Guinevere. Uh, Guinevere, sorry, I know you didn't hard to pronounce that. Like, Sometimes I forget it. Um, yeah. But this is uh, but this is Aspen. If you guys have any green questions of the state, she's kind of the one who's heading the green committee right now. Well, you sound like you're at the bottom of a well. I can barely hear uh, Aspen. You can. Yeah, that's hard to hear. Let me see if I can turn up my volume. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'll turn up volume on the computer a little bit. Let me see. There we go. Can you hear it now? I, uh, go ahead. And say, I, say something, Aspen. Testing, testing. Is Can that better? That? A little better. It's a little bit of like background noise or just like uh, electronic noise. It just sounds real tinny. Yes. Yeah. That's weird. 
I'll just have the entertainment. Okay, so we got Abby online too. Yeah, okay. Um let me go see if I have like a little microphone or something that will work better. Okay. Um if you if you two want to, are you guys able to join the Google on air section? I reposted it. Okay, in let me the, uh, no, you no, you two are fine. I was talking to the Skype people. Oh, okay. Um we can all get on the same platform. It, I, I, are, you, are you talking about uh, oh, the Google uh, version of Skype? What yeah. Called? Yeah, I, I read. I resent the. Uh, I posted the link on uh, the, the Fairbanks. I mean, on the on the Alaska Green Party page on the top of it. Well, let me let me wake up my desktop. I'm gonna have to unwire myself from this laptop and move over. That's fine. Looks like we got Abby online too. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna move the Skype conversation to the Google Hangout too, so that way uh, there's. Everybody can talk to each other. I think we have Austin here. Austin wants uh, Austin to like the about section. Which we can figure out later. Yeah, he said you know, he said, uh, you, you know things, so he wants to write that. Yeah, sorry about all the technical difficulties. Did you check maybe the? It's not really installed correctly on that computer. I don't know. Did you check the uh, the Green Party Facebook page? Uh, let me go back over. I, that's what I click. I clicked on the link. That's. Let me, let me try it again. Okay. So it's Green Party of Alaska Facebook page. Yeah, and it should have the link on it. Might be. A, yeah, I know. YouTube. It says YouTube should be live. Yeah, YouTube should be live as well, but I think YouTube won't be able to uh, talk into it. Can you hear me better now? Who's that? Aspen. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Great. Okay. Yeah, I, I have these new headphones. I've never used them before, but there's this little talky thing, so... <laughs> <laughs> So good. Okay, good. You can hear me better. Awesome. I'm trying to get everybody over there so that way they can uh, rejoin us. I think they're going to have a hard time hearing you through the mic. Unless you guys can hear. I think part of the problem is that we've got people on Skype and then we've got people on this Google Hangout. Yeah, you're right. You better if we got everybody on the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, oh, and now I can't see you anymore. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, now I can. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, I think that's what, what, uh, normal for it, but it looks like you're getting on it so far. Um, it's installing. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking we could... Oh, Austin likes your headphones, by the way. Oh, cool. Thanks, I'm Austin. I'm not sure how he can see you, actually, because he's on Skype with me. Maybe he's, he's in, in the type. Maybe he's <laughs> actually in there somewhere. I don't know. The Skype's not even video. I just gave up trying to work it. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had I, Austin here that he could uh, run every, help me run everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Austin needs a link to the group. Okay. Same thing a link. But you, you guys were able to join from the Alaska Green Party link? Mm-hmm. You want to post it on the top of it? Yeah. Okay. It was in the comment section, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me let me copy that and send that to uh and repost that and delete my other one. So that way that we can get everybody in the same group. So how's everything been going, uh, Abby? I haven't, I haven't talked to you in a while. It's good. Good. It's good. How about you? Huh? How about you? These are going good here, here in Fairbanks. I really need a local organizer. I'm trying to organize for the whole state, but I also have nobody here to organize. It's frustrating. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, this is, I think that this is going to continue to be, so, I mean, I really liked Eric's idea of investing in something like, uh, like Zoom or whatever. Because I think this is going to be a, uh, continue to be a problem for us in Alaska or something that we need to solve in terms of how we're all going to be able to get together and communicate. No, you're right. That's, I think that's um, part of the reason I wanted to do this sooner rather than later, even though I knew we'd kind of be rushing it a bit. Yeah. Because I, I want us to try to work through these, these, uh, these features while we're still kind of getting started. Yeah, tech, yeah, tech stuff. Yeah. So I reposted cool. these. <laughs> Yeah. Like I'm still installing my, my plug-in right now. <laughs> yeah. I have uh, totally switched the way I'm doing this. Can you hear the microphone I'm using? Yeah, yeah I, I can, can hear you. you. Oh, I can hear you on the computer. Yeah, well, I, I tried to go over to the lake, and I don't know what's going on. Uh, it must not be set Abby. up right. Hmm. My, uh, my desktop. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can try to switch it. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing but static on it? I, I initially get a I, I get a standard picture of you, and then uh, you click on it to start, and then it sends me over to uh, a YouTube uh, address, and there's nothing but static on that. Okay. So I don't know what's going on. Somebody my Android. Green dog. Yeah. Green dog. Call it. Green dog. There, I actually just reposted the link on on the Green Party Facebook page. It might it might have been the problem, but the new one should work. I missed it. Go back over there and cry. Yeah. All right. So looks like things are working a little bit. Yeah, I was I was actually interested in Zoom. The uh, socialist party of the country did it. The socialist the look the. National Socialist Party uses Zoom for meetings. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah, so if they trust it, I feel like we could probably trust it because, I mean, they're socialists. You'd imagine they would be very careful about being attacked. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell, <laughs> hey, how's it going, Jess? Good, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry you guys didn't, you guys missed Salmon Fest. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Bummer. Who's on the other side? Oh, it's Jess. Hey, Jess. Yeah. Hey. Sorry, this needs cutting out on me. I can't really see you guys too well. Maybe I should have wired this in a little better. I think it just yeah. I think it just goes to whoever's talking. Okay. Yeah, that actually does look like that's what's happening. Yeah. So it looks like we had a few more people that joined the group but couldn't actually mm -hmm. um that could but couldn't actually get in. I mean it looks like we had around ten people. Ten people ish. I don't know how many people we and I, we had three viewers on YouTube, four on Hangouts, and um, three on Skype. Yeah. Yeah, it makes this does too bad, but and we'll keep we'll keep trying to work on this. Yeah. It'll be a lot better so, once we get the Zoom thing set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was actually trying to look at it earlier. I couldn't. I don't think I found the right site, but I did find. A free app on the phone that allows 50 people to FaceTime at the same time. It's mm. called Zoom. Oh, wow. It's it's called Zoom, and so I think it's the same thing. The other one that I know of is called FreeConferenceCall.com. It's the only one that I've had actual experience with, but um, I don't know if that one works as well for FaceTiming for video yeah. stuff. Some ways talking is is uh, just is just fine too. Yeah, yeah, totally. Trying to get Austin on in the group. Yeah, because we can have up to twenty five people this way. Yeah, we can. This isn't too bad if we can get it to work correctly, which it is working now correctly. Yeah. Yeah, but I but we we uh, you know I don't want you uh I don't really want to use Google that much. I don't trust them. Yeah, I don't trust them either. <laughs> no, yeah, I really don't trust them. I it's really kind of sad because they're I don't like being that much either, but I'm learning to cope. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but but using Google, I mean, just I, we already know they're against us, so it just. Uh huh. <laughs> 
it's like sending sending messages through our enemy and hoping everything know. goes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Let me read it first. No, it's, it's not really good. Uh, we we actually have had Facebook directly um, trying to stop us already. Uh-huh. That makes me they've uh, as far as for the coalition, they've been shutting down the uh, the, co- the the one that's been working with the Democrats. What really? Yeah, so we, we have so there's several parts of it. The coalition for Jill Stein is anybody that wants to support her. You could be a Republican and say you want to support Jill Stein, you're in. Uh, that's how we're kind of running it right now because we're trying to give her the best shot. Yeah. But the one that's a Democrat, he's trying to attract other Democrats. Jill Stein. Um, he keeps getting she he got shut down for like three hours yesterday on adding people. Whoa, that's weird. Room. Yeah. Sneaky. Same There's thing. a lot of sneaky, underhanded things going on. It's very discouraging. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, there's a chance that was kind of random, but it just, it just randomly happens to him when he's trying to grow the group. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. Random. <laughs> well, the news has been saying Google's in bed with the Clintons. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's that... Going to the White House every week or something like that, so they're very and and that's the same people that are attached. To them. So, um, I think they're all pretty well connected. Yeah, I've, I've heard that as well. Um, okay, it looks like Oscar signed his phone. He he says he's kind of brain dead from working on the uh, web page, but I think it probably looks pretty good. He's been working on it all, all day. Probably looks pretty decent. Pretty soon, everybody that's involved in the Green Party and that wants to be uh, green can, uh, can get an email address from us. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, that'll be nice. It'll look more official. Um, so you can say, I'm this and this, and I'll, you have a .org after your name. So For some reason, I keep getting a blank screen. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if, my, if the Wi-Fi isn't working too well on this laptop. Hmm. Hmm. I could attempt to hook up the... Uh, the cable from the internet. I had to bring all everything downstairs to get it, to get well, it working. I could see you in the editing when we first talked. After that, nothing. I don't see anybody. Didn't see anybody? No. Nope. Okay, but can you guys hear each other over the over the uh, Skype to? Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you hear each other? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me try turning them up on this end to help you guys out. That's that's as loud as they get. So. Aspen and uh, Abby and Jess, if she's still there. Um, did you guys have any involvement with Bernie Sanders' campaign? Mm-mm, I didn't, but Jess, you went. Um, I just caucus. That's it. Okay. You guys weren't. You guys weren't. Uh, weren't too involved. But what makes you? What made you guys want to join the Green Party? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I've always um, been undeclared. Um, I wanted to join the Green Party as soon as I found out that it existed. Uh, as soon as I read what the Green Party stood for, <laughs> uh, I was undeclared. Like I said, I changed to a Democrat just to caucus for Bernie, and then I changed back to the Green Party actually after the shortly after the the Anchorage caucus or in the primaries or whatever. So. Yeah, I mean, for me, climate change is one of the biggest issues for me, mm-hmm. and I feel like that it affects all the other issues that are on the table for any politician from any party. Climate change affects all of them, mm-hmm. so that's why I joined the Green Party because it's the most important thing to me. And that's and that's yeah. one of the scariest things about this election cycle is that we're, we're kind of facing a crucial time right now as far as handling that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not going to be as doom and gloom as some predict. If you, look at, if you look at scientifically how it's going to go, but it's not going to be fun. That's that's for sure. It's not going to be a fun thing we have to go through. And, uh, and that's why I'm trying to go all in right now for Jill Stein because it really might be the best shot we have at actually getting something past. Yeah. But, you know, Clintons don't really care. You know, they admit it's real, and Trump won't even uh, acknowledge climate change's existence. So that puts us in a really bad spot. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate because I don't know if either of them will live long enough to, you know, because they're very old to actually see what's going to happen. But <laughs> yeah, all those young people will have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. And like I have a child, so 
I have to like look him in the eyes every day and I just how are you supposed to know what's coming and yet sit around and do nothing when you not only are the future but like you're also raising the future yeah exactly it's you know and, and it, that's one of the things I thought about a lot too as far as um, as far as when I, when I have kids and what kind of world I bring them into yeah you know, I thought like you know it, that because I'm going to live old enough to see it but if I have kids they're going to live it they're going to live the whole thing yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to go through everything, and that's not going to be, uh, I imagine it's going to be terrible. Yeah. It's pretty scary. Not. And it's, and it's not something that anybody's really, I, I don't know, like I don't, our, our elected officials right now, Democrat or Republican, they're not really doing anything, or they're just taking little tiny baby steps here and there that get, gets us really nowhere. <laughs> I'm over yeah, it. I'm over yeah, the whole two parties. <laughs> yeah, they're. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're not even. You have to. You have one of two options. You can either uh, try to prepare for the disaster that's coming, or you can try to prevent it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how many people do we have on this call right now? Huh. How many people are on this call right now? I think. Uh oh. <laughs> this is going to be the problem in Alaska: is that our internet connections are not very good. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Oh, cool. We have more people. Guinevere? Yeah. Hi. Hi. I <laughs> uh, can't see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of hiding right now. So. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's fine. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to make sure it wasn't a technical thing. Cause... Yeah, no, it's it's not technical. I'm just kind of blocking the camera. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, that's fine. Uh, So, uh, I don't know, Oren asked a question earlier about our involvement with Bernie, and so I guess I'll just let you guys know what my involvement with Bernie was. Um, I kind of had gotten out of politics for a while, and um, and then my husband was like, like, I don't know, about a year ago, he was like, hey, you should really check out this guy, Bernie Sanders. And and I did. I And I, re I really started to like Bernie Sanders, and I really liked a lot of what he stood for, and even though I'm not a Democrat and I've never been a Democrat, I uh, flew to Philadelphia to be part of the protests there because I really wanted to stand in solidarity with Bernie supporters. And after watching the way that the establishment had treated Bernie supporters, the media, like, I just decided, like, this isn't okay. And so I'm going to go exercise my right to direct democracy. I can democracy. hear you. It's like two people talking at the same time. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So is that Aspen that was just talking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, she was. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So. Um, trying to reconnect to them. There right, we go. I think we reconnected. Is that bad? We just need some better Wi-Fi. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So it's like we got everything back online. Yeah, maybe, I was thinking maybe we should um, just try to try to replan for tomorrow or the next day. We want to redo the meeting. Doesn't give us a lot of time. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know how well this Google Hangout thing is gonna work. I feel like maybe we should hold off until we can get some technology that actually... The Wednesday. Yeah. For all of us? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should try to... people... 
Yeah. I think Eric was talking about Zoom, and then uh, there's also free yeah, conference just... calls so that we can at least hear each other, you know. Yeah, we can do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I just got into the Hangout, so it seems to be working for me. Oh, good. I think Oren is the one who's having an issue just because of the internet up in Fairbanks. Are you in Fairbanks too, Guinevere? Um, I think that when the Hangout people are talking and the Skype people are talking, they don't hear each other because it seems like people are talking at the same time. So. Yeah, I think we all need to be on the Hangout and not on Skype. Yeah, so um, Stephen, so I, um, I, I think I'm connected with Stephen on Skype and then um, at, uh, um, somebody else was talking on um, the Hangout thing, so, but I, can you not hear them when they're talking? Because it seems like the Skype people talk when the Hangout people are already having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear anybody on Skype. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, well, I, I think I was saying something about people talking at the same time, and I think a lot of people stopped talking. So it sounds like the um, the Hangout people cannot hear anybody talking on Skype. So you can't hear Stephen Aspen? No, I can't hear. Okay. I think uh, it's probably best if we all get he, on the same... Yeah, he can hear you. Hi, Steven. I'm, I'm yes, sorry, she, I can't uh, hear no. you. <laughs> sorry, um, a Aspen cannot hear you, Steven. Um, so sh are you unable to get onto the Google Hangout? He's not set up right for it. Oh, okay. Uh, shoot, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Yeah, so I used the link and I had to download a plugin, and that took a few minutes. And um, but I'm but I'm in it now, and then I had to stop the pop up blocker and stuff. <laughs> huh? Maybe that's a PC thing. Sorry, looking on the Facebook page right now. All right, that might be it. Okay, so Stephen can only hear me right now. Um, he's he can't get into the Google Hangout. Uh, it sounds like it's an operating system issue or something. So he's gonna play around with it some more. Okay. Maybe the conference call is a better idea because everybody, yeah. I think it's, we keep having problems with, we had the pro same problem at the meeting a couple weeks ago with the video. Yeah. The I think, is so bad. Yeah, definitely. The nice thing about the conference call is that we can all dial in on our phones or on the internet. So we'll just have to get that set up for next time. Yeah. That's not hard. We'll just up. we'll work out these issues, and um, you know we'll we'll figure something out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on. One of these things with the um, Google Hangouts, I see your name or your face. Like when you're talking, I see your face, but then um, your name goes away, and so it's like hard to remember what everybody's name is. <laughs> I see Abigail now. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to see if I can set up a free conference call real quick. If it's going to take too long, then I'll just set it up later. But Okay. So Stephen Aspen's going to try to set up a free conference call. Where... Um, was that other person, Oren, the Green Oren. Party person? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where did he go? He seems to have yeah, disappeared. I, I don't know. I think that he's got, <laughs> some, I think he's got some Wi-Fi issues. In Fair, he's in Fairbanks. And yes. So I think he's having a hard time with the Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, he seems to have dropped off of everything. Uh, Aspen's saying that he has some Wi-Fi issues. I'm, like, translating now for <laughs> between the two groups. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he, he's, he's in Fairbanks, and he has some Wi-Fi issues, so sometimes he drops off. See if I can. Looks like he's back on on the video call. Well, there he is. is. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so what I'm thinking we should do is uh, try to reschedule this for one or two days from now. And you no, know, I don't think we'll get a good turnout if you go to get these systems back online. Kind of get things solid uh, laid out. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, because this one kind of didn't work out so well. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just. I think I know what went wrong as far as this Google Hangouts thing did uh, went. And so I can actually, um, I can change that. So that way it's not so bad. Okay. So, so yeah, I think that's basically what we'll do. We'll reschedule for one or two days from now, and we'll try to keep it only on Google Hangouts. So here's okay. here's my Steven, issue. Stephen, are you hearing that? Go ahead. Yeah. Did you hear what? Okay. So uh, Oren said that we're gonna try again. What in a couple of days? Yeah. And maybe I'm gonna, gonna try. And and probably on Google Hangouts. Um, so Oren, Stephen was having trouble with. Um, uh, Getting getting into Google Hangouts and he's going to play around with that some more. I'm not. Are you able to hear Stephen? Because I know the other people on the uh, Google Hangouts couldn't hear him. I can't hear him at all. Um, but yeah, we. I actually have both my uh, my brother was pretty good at so that's social thing. Austin was talking about um, Zoom that you guys were talking about as well. We could we could attempt to do that. Attempt to use Zoom. I'm down for that. Yeah. Aspen suggested just the conference call just because then connectivity won't be as big of an issue because it seems like, especially for you all in Fairbanks, your internet connection is kind of intermittent. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Yeah, um, it, it looks like free conference call is actually going to be pretty easy to. Um, I just set it up really quick while you guys were talking. It was pretty easy. Yeah, it doesn't look too difficult. Okay, Steven. Yeah, to be honest, we don't necessarily need to see each other's face all that much. In order yeah, to as long talk. as we can all talk <laughs> to each other. Yeah, that's really that's really important. And so Austin, Austin, Austin is checking out Zoom right now, which we could use. We could use later if we want to try that as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna do some upgrade on the system here. We think actually the problem is uh, what we're using. This we're using a laptop right now. And we could switch to a desktop. We think it would give us better connectivity. Yeah. We're uh, in Fairbanks. We're closer to the Esther side, and they just got fiber optics cable out there, so we actually have decent. Oh, cool! Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, we we and we went and bought into it. Um, I mean, I wanted to make sure we had a good internet for all these uh, green meetings. Sweet. So pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think and, the only also, person. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to try to make announcements, I guess, to everybody that's left. Or we could just wait till the next meeting. Yeah, announcements sound great. Okay, um, so there's a lot going on the campaign. You guys might hear something in the next few days, um, and that's going to kind of kind of throw a, uh, a wrench into the mix of what, what we're trying to do. But um, we'll just see how that goes and take, take it as it comes. I have to kind of keep it a secret. I don't, I don't yeah, really I'm like keeping it a secret. <laughs> He's uh, Oren's talking and giving some announcements. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like keeping secrets from you guys. I really, I really kind of hope that some day I'd be able to have some sort of way to like write them down or just close in a future time because I think keeping secrets is super uh, non-transparent as far as the campaign goes. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we, but so I'm trying well, to inform you guys as much. So 
sometimes you have to, have to keep secrets to protect like certain candidates. That's basically what it's for. Mm-hmm. So that could have like a, like a Democrat talk to me and say, I'm going to switch green on this date. And then if I was to say that Democrat was going to do it, he would be kicked out of the Democrat Party as soon as I said it. As soon as it, it made it out to anybody else. Yeah. So it's stuff like that. Yeah. He's, he's but, talking. I can't hear everybody at once. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, and so, of course, the website, um, Aspen got to take a look at that. So we have so the website. The web, we have a website now. It's still under construction. It'll probably be done in a week. And you guys all can get uh, email accounts there. Oops. And there's this map right here. You guys can see it in the background. I'll bring yeah, it a little closer. Um, let's see. It's like it gets closer. So the thing you guys, you guys lost me. No, Maybe I can see moved. you. I can see you. Okay, can you see the map? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So the map is where we have... We currently have people people working for the campaign, and I was telling. So we so you can see on the map we have Anchorage, Kenai, uh, Matnusk, Haynes, and Juno. Those are the places we have people. Sweet. And, and uh, Fairbanks we have me, but I, but I'm not very useful as far as on the ground because I spend so much time organizing online and trying to you know, the larger plan. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, try- I'm trying to cut back so I can do a little more local organizing because we just need somebody in Fairbanks. It's the second biggest town. Um, so far, we don't have we don't have anybody stepping up in Fairbanks. But uh, hopefully, we'll change that. And I was talking to um, I was talking to Steve earlier about how I was hoping that at, at the end of this campaign, I, all people we have right now are are Greens. Everybody is supporting our campaign. Yeah, he's- doing announcements. Um, so, I'm sorry, Oren. Uh, Steven can't seem to hear what's going on too much. I think he hears some of what's going on on the Google Hangout. He got into somehow into it, but I don't think anybody else can hear him but me. Um, but he, So, I, <laughs> I, he's trying to check and see if people can hear him, but I don't think anybody else can. No, I can't hear him at all. Mm-mm. Oh, he can see you. No. I'm writing all the announcements down. Okay, good. Yeah, and uh, that's one thing I like about Google Hangouts. I think it records the, this entire conversation. Oh, that's good. But um, I might edit it because, you know, the first, like, hour was just loud screeching. <laughs> Probably going to edit that. <laughs> but, uh, Noise art. but, yeah, I'm, ho- I'm hoping that at the end of this campaign, all the regional coordinators can um, kind of roll into the Green Party. The campaign's going to be structured around the Green Party. It's going to be... You know, obviously, everybody, everybody, uh, everybody in the campaign, especially people we work with, um, the Green Party says, "No way, it's it's no way." Um, and uh, and all the and I, and I want to bring all the progressives that we meet into the Green Party as well. If, they, if they're interested, if they're not, they can see whatever whatever party they want to be in. Yeah. But hoping oh. that after. Go ahead. I think I can hear Stephen a little bit. I hear something. Yeah. It seems to be Oren echoing. Oh, yeah, that is sound like Actually. <laughs> yeah, Steven, Steven has a deeper voice, I think, than I do. But, yeah, how about we retry this in, in about two days? Um, I'll go ahead and send, send an email out to well, I'll just I'll send a Facebook message because I haven't I haven't gotten the date the data section okay. or anything else. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll decide a date for it. Well, do you think we should we should use uh each the uh, committee thing you have? The conference call thing. Yeah, the conference call thing. I think that would be best because people can tune in to that either online or just call in on their phone. Mm-hmm. That's true. And uh, and I can also set up a separate recorder next to me so that way um, they could listen to the conversation so it's recorded. I think free conference call also records the conversations. Oh, excellent. Then that'd be perfect. Yeah, yeah. It records them for later and then it gives you a link to listen to it. So that'll work. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. All right. I'm getting yeah, a lot work, of echoes especially, um, now. Yeah, that'll work because especially... 
And um, uh, Stephen wanted me to tell you that he can see you now perfectly on his phone. But I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of things repeating. It's very difficult to follow at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and um, end, the, end the call. We'll talk over Facebook. We'll try replanning okay. it for about two days. Just for the sake of getting things working, and if we get any, um, any, of course, Bernie Sanders people or any Democrats that want to express their opinions, that'd be good, too. Um, we're planning, the, the major event we're planning is on the 17th. So that's kind of the day we've got to keep an eye on. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. No problem. We'll try, I'll let you guys know over Facebook. Yeah, okay. Cool. Thanks, Oren. All right. No problem. Later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, Steven.